Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to get free songs onto your iPod Touch. Alright, first thing you want to do is open up an internet browser. I use Google Chrome, but it doesn't really matter what you use because that doesn't have any effect on it. So first you want to go to YouTube. Then you want to open up a new tab and go to flvto.com. It is a YouTube to MP3 converter, and there's a lot of different websites out there to convert YouTube to MP3, but this site, um, I like this one the best. It just, this is the one I always stick with. Alright, so then go back to YouTube, and you want to search the song that you want to put on your iPod. And I'm going to search Billionaire. Um, then you just click on the video that you want. And then you're going to copy the address, you're going to post it, or post it, paste it, here click convert to, wait for it to be done, and you can either click download or you can, or I right click and click save link as because that seems to work the best. Now I have already set, I already have it set to where I want the songs to be saved to, but obviously if you do this for the first time you're going to have to figure that out. Um, and so I'm just going to shorten up this title a little bit. Let's click save. And as you can see right down here, it's going to do the thing. Um, then you want to go to iTunes. There's a lot of different things that like work, like uh, iTunes and stuff like that. And my sister uses one. I can't remember the name of it right off the bat, but I use iTunes because, you know, iTunes, iPod, they go together. Okay. And at, if you can, if you look here, you can see all these songs I have downloaded from YouTube, and then all these other ones up here are the ones that have been bought. Um, Alright, so then you want to sync your iPod, hook it up and sync it and stuff like that. And I have already done that. And then you go up to File, go down to Add File to Library. Um, you're going to have to go to where you save the the song, but again, I already have mine set up, so I'm just going to go down to where I, to the song, so it should be under T, there we go, and you just click, and if you're going to do more than one song at once, which is what I recommend, you know, instead of just doing one song at a time, then you would just hold down control, and then you can select multiple songs, but I just need this one. So then you click open, and then you go to the library music, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, because that's what it's going to be, and here it is, right there. And then you just click and drag over to this little thing until this whole box lights up. Then after you dragged it there, you go to recently added, and here you go. And then you right click on it, go to get info, give it a second. Go to the little info tab, and here you go. And you can enter in as much of the information that you want, all the information you know, and stuff like that. And there's other stuff like the cover, which you're going to see as a picture, you know, stuff like that. Um, and once you're done, you can go right over to your music. And here it is, right there. And if I were to go to my iPod right now, which I can, it will be on there. Um, I know there's going to be a question that a lot of you guys are going to ask. Um, when you first use this method to get free songs onto your iPod, you're going to notice that the only thing that shows up at first is the song name. And any other information, like the album, the artist, anything like that is not going to show up. That's okay. After a while it will show up. You just need to give it time and I don't really know what else to tell you. I really haven't figured it out yet. So as of right now, the only thing I can tell you is you're just going to have to give it time, but it will show up after a while. Maybe not the second you put it on there, but hey, at least you got the song on there. <laughs> Alright, and that's basically all you have to do. 
I suggest every time you think of a few songs that you want to put onto your iPod, just write them down. I usually just put them in a notepad on the actual iPod. And then after I get up to about five, I go ahead and I do those. So and it's in small little bunches instead of like 10, 15, 20, because that can take some time. But once you get into the swing of things, it'll go faster. And if you just kind of do them, you keep up on it instead of letting songs accumulate, it's always the best way. Also, just another little tip, if you're going to unplug your iPod, make sure you click the eject button. A lot of people don't know to do that, and a lot of people don't do that, and um, you're actually supposed to. So you just click that, and once it disappears, you're free to unhook it safely. So that's the end of the tutorial, and I hope this helped anyone out there with any questions. And if you still have questions, then... Just go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll see if I can help you. All right, bye.